Our favourite thing to do is explore new places with our dogs. And Scotland never fails to impress. We headed to the Cairngorms, with dramatic landscapes like the one at Loch Mick. It's the perfect place to switch off and enjoy some proper Scottish scenes. We popped over to visit an iconic landmark. You might recognise it. I like to make up historic facts, but I'm not fooling anyone. They always get laughed off. Living in Scotland, it's so easy to take for granted just how stunning the country is. It's so peaceful here. Back in Ballater, we explored the quaint village, picking up some little tokens to remind us of our trip. We headed back to the Balmoral Arms for dinner at the 1852 Brasserie and Grill. We really like our food, and the menu here did not disappoint. We couldn't call it a night without enjoying some cocktails in the cosy atmosphere of the Gillies Bar. And a wee local drama. Yeah, I like to pretend I'm a whiskey expert too. <laughs> After we all had a great night's sleep in our suite, we picked up the Tailwagger's Guide and found recommended doggy daycare so we could head out on our own and see the Highlands in a different way. We're so used to cycling in the busy city, so this quiet village made for our really relaxed ride. We even found some trails for a wee challenge. After our morning adventure in the saddle, we took some time to unwind. Is there anything more inviting than a crackling fire and a cosy lounge? We'd heard amazing things about the afternoon tea, and it was incredible. Jam, then cream? Oh, well, either way, it tastes amazing. Our wee furry pals enjoyed some doggy treats too. We love every moment of making memories like these. Just what we needed. <laughs>